My name is uh, Mohamed Ibrahim Jaga. Uh, I'm a co-founder of Dominion Blockchain Solution. Dominion uh, is a blockchain as a service company that's BAS. We help businesses and government transition from traditional data to blockchain uh, uh, solution. So I'm um, very excited about the uh, Nigerian Startup Act, and uh, this is very, as one of the uh, promoters of the act, I feel very honored to be part of this history. That Nigeria is taking the lead in terms of having an enabling environment for the startup ecosystem because the Startup Act has been designed in such a way whereby it creates more opportunities for the startup, especially at the early stage startups, and also it can also create access for startups to be able to uh, harness benefits and opportunities through the startup portal and uh, having a very open source uh, information for that. And uh, also uh, through the tax and uh, fiscal incentive for the startups is very interesting and also something that caught my attention because investors and accelerators uh, will have a room to be able to uh, have more attraction for investments and as well as uh, uh, it can have a positive effect for the economy as well as my company. And this is actually going through uh, regulatory support as well as uh, things around uh, uh, the, the provision to link government and also collaborate with governments and businesses. Uh, it's uh, helping, it's going to help skill uh, that regulatory holders for, for, for businesses and for government. So this is actually uh, one of the very interesting things that really caught my attention. And uh, what we need to do more to maximize this is uh, to see how we can create a lot of more awareness and also educate Sean on the Startup uh, Act and the roles uh, by which uh, is being played as uh, stakeholders within the ecosystem. And uh, we need to also uh, get adoption by the states so that they can drive the implementation of uh, uh, the impact desired for the startups and how to, how to grow and even scale it. One of the implications for this, uh, for the tech ecosystem as well as uh, the business, because I'm one of the uh, uh, mentors for a lot of startups in the Nigerian tech ecosystem, I feel uh, this actually will see more early stage startups uh, grow in such a way that startups can be able to operate in the world, operating in the Damato, uh, Abakiliki, Yola, can have benefits and also can have access to seed funding and other relevant uh, tax and fiscal uh, revenues, uh, incentives, sorry, at, at, at wherever they are in respect to the location or region. Uh, they don't need to be in Lagos or Abuja before they can be able to get attracted to one of the things and two. And also, we should have, uh, there's going to be, I think, it will create uh, more opportunities for funding uh, for in terms of the helping position the country for, for investment opportunities as well as uh, uh, creating Nigeria, position Nigeria for destination for investors. Because uh, a lot of VCs and uh, PE firms will, will get attracted to Nigeria, and Indian investors will be very attracted to Nigeria to see that Nigeria has a policy that is really accommodating for everyone. So for me, uh, we want to experience more growth in the ecosystem. We want to have some unicorns. I believe uh, my company, Domino, also one of the unicorns in the, in the blockchain space in Africa. So this is actually a big win for us. And I'm very, very excited to be part of this. Uh, what part of the success story. And uh, I look forward to see how best we could be able to implement it and take it as the next big thing. Thank you.